It's so beautiful up here. Peaceful, quiet. Do you always come here, Amber? Not really. This is my mom's favorite hiding place. She usually visit here especially when she need to be alone and think about life. I get you. Sometimes when we feel alone and discouraged we need to have a hiding place like this. Are we done here? My goulash. I'm so tired and hungry. What else is new? You're always hangry. Hungry and angry. <laughs> Gosh, can we go now, Amber? I'm sweating like crazy, and I'm starving for real food. I'm craving for beef enchiladas and tacos. Okay, you're right, Aubrey. Besides my mom and dad will be waiting for me tonight. Let's go. Bye, Amber. See you tomorrow. Bye, Aubrey. Thanks for the ride. Drive safe. I will. Hi, Mom. I'm sorry I'm late. Why are you still up, Mom? Oh, I'm just meditating and talking to God about something. I'm so sorry about it, sweetie. I don't want you to worry about me. We love you, Mom. Dad and I are so worried about you. What if? What if? What if I don't get better? I'm not going to die, sweetie. I will never leave you and your dad alone. Let's put our trust in God. Let's enjoy every moment that we have. Is that all right, sweetie? Oh, mom, I love you. I don't know if I can make it without you. Don't worry, honey. God is not done with your mom yet. Let's believe for my complete healing. Sure, mom. Let's go to bed now. By the way, are you still going to have a sleepover with Aubrey tomorrow night? Yes, mom. Well, good night. Good night, mom. I love you. I love you, too, honey. Oh, I love your room, Aubrey. It's big and cool. I wish I have a room like this. Hemp, I hate my room. I'm not happy. Seriously, why not? I think it's lovely compared to my itty bitty room. I told my dad that I want a jacuzzi in my bathroom. He kept promising me that he will do it. <laughs> What's so funny? Hello. Don't you know how blessed you are, Aubrey? Your parents loves you and they'll do anything just to make you happy. Do you think so? Duh. <laughs> if you say so. Let's go and watch a movie. Okie dokie, let's go. Hi, mom. Hi, darling. By the way, mom. This is my new friend, Amber. Good evening, ma'am. Nice to meet you. Oh, you're so sweet, Amber. Make yourself at home. Thank you, Mrs. Stephanie. Oh. Hi, are you new here? I'm Olive. I'm Amber's mom. Did you just say Amber? I know her. She's my daughter's friend. Your daughter is Aubrey. What a coincidence. Oh, I'm Stephanie. Nice to meet you, Stephanie. Oh, how I love to invite you and your daughter over our house this weekend. Amber is so sweet and respectful. Thank you, Stephanie. I would love to meet Aubrey, too. I'm glad that everyone's here. Let's start our parents' teachers meeting. I'm sure you already met our new member, Stephanie. Hello, everyone. I'm Stephanie. Hello, Stephanie. Welcome to our group. I'm Alicia. I'm Morden. I'm Joanne, the president of our group. Welcome aboard. Thanks. We have to come up with a community project to help our school attract new students. Since our school competitor started their scholarship program, as the principal I am afraid that we might lose our students. Oh, that's bad. 
but don't worry about it. Principal Jackson. My husband is a very influential man and a successful businessman. He knows people in high places. I will ask him if he can help us. That's a great idea, Stephanie. We could use help from investors to expand our school. Yeah, that's right. That's right. We need to think of a brilliant way to attract new students. Let me ask my husband and I will keep you posted. Oh, thank you, Stephanie. Our school is really struggling especially when our competitors launched their scholarship program. We need to come up with ideas. Exactly. This is the only Christian school in this area. That's why we need to pray and come up with a better plan to compete with the other school. Stephanie, hello there. Olive. What a small world. What are you doing here? I'm here to pick up my prescription. This is my husband, Raphael. How do you do, Olive? I'm good, Raphael. We have to go now, Olive. We have to go to the ER right now. Raphael's father had a mild stroke. I'm so sorry to hear that. Don't worry, we will lift your father in our prayer tonight. Please, if you need something, anything at all, call me. Thank you so much, Olive. We'll call you and let you know. I hate it. Relax, Aubrey. Hey, Aubrey, are you okay? Do I look like I'm okay, Amber? What a dumb question. Of course, I'm not okay. Happy now. I'm so sorry, Aubrey. I know that you're upset because your grandpa is in the hospital. Who said that I'm upset because of that? You assume too much, Amber. I'm upset because we're supposed to go to Six Flags. Then my dad cancelled our trip. I've been looking forward to that. Are you for real, Aubrey? You're upset because of that. You should be worried about your grandpa and not your silly trip to Six Flags. I didn't ask for your opinion, Amber. Mind your own business. Let's go, Stacy. Are you okay, Amber? I'm fine, Shane. What's wrong with you, sweetie? Is there any problem? I'm not okay, mom. What seems to be the problem? It's Aubrey. She got upset with me today. Her family is going through some tough time, sweetie. Just try to understand her. That's the thing that I don't understand, mom. She was very upset because her dad cancelled their trip to Six Flags. It's irritating. She should be worried about her grandpa not that foolish trip to Florida. What? That's unheard of. You're right, sweetheart. Aubrey shouldn't get upset with you. I thought I know her well but evidently not. Don't worry about it, sweetie. I'm sure that Aubrey will come around. I love you, mom. You know how to make me feel better. I love you, too darling. By the way, your dad is in the family room. He's been waiting for you. Oh, Lord, help me. Give me strength. Daniel, Daniel, honey, help me. Hurry. Honey, what's happening to you? I don't feel well. It's hard for me to breathe. I'm taking you to the hospital. Let's go. Mrs. Clark? Your symptoms indicates that you have an underlying disease. Therefore, I will refer you to the best specialists in this county so they can do further testing on you. Though I have a suspicion of what it is based on your blood work, but to be on the safe side, it is better for you to go to that hospital for further testings and for possible liquid biopsy and cytogenetic analysis. Dr. Houston, thank you for everything. I would do anything to help my wife. Don't worry, Daniel. Dr. Harrison is the best specialist in town. Thank you, Dr. Houston. My secretary will call Dr. Harrison to set an appointment for you. Okay, thanks, Doctor.
What's up with that face, Aubrey? Leave me alone, Stacy. I'm not in a good mood today. It looks like Aubrey is still upset. Stay away from her. I can handle her. Don't worry. Hi, Aubrey. How are you feeling? Why do you care? If you need to talk, I'm here for you. Let's go to the library, Shane. That's a good idea, Amber. We have to study for our test tomorrow. Amber, sweetheart, hello. I'm taking your mom to her new oncologist. Just stay at your Uncle Denny's house for now. No, don't cry, honey. Your mom is fine. Aha, uh -huh. yes, I know. I know that. I love you, too, sweetie. Bye. I'm worried about our daughter, honey. She will be all right, dear. Mom, Dad, I'm glad you're back. Oh, sweetie, I'm glad I'm home. Hi, sweetheart. Oh, Mom, I'm glad you're home. Your mom is alright, sweetie. Hey, big bro. Thank you, Denny, for watching Amber. It's my pleasure to take care of my niece. How are you, Olive? Don't worry about me. I want to know what's going on with mom. My oncologist says that I have stage 2 cancer. But the good news is, it's curable. We have two options to a chemotherapy or go to the alternative doctor. That's great. My best friend's wife had a cancer before. They did the alternative medicine, eating healthy food and taking supplements. Praise God. She's healed. We're thinking the same thing. I don't want to do the chemo and that stuff. I believe in the power of prayer. God still can heal today. Amen. You are going to get healed, Mom. I want you to be there when I walk in the aisle in my wedding. <laughs> what? You haven't gone to college yet and work and you're talking about wedding. <laughs> yeah. We better get going, Denny. Thank you. Thanks, Denny. Tell Christy that we're leaving. Bye, kiddo. Bye, Uncle Denny. Stacy, have you seen Aubrey? Why do you want to know? As far as I know Aubrey hates you. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to pry. Stay away from me. Stacy, there you are. Finally, I thought you'll never come. Let's go. Shall we? Hello, Dad. What's going on? Hello, Dad. You're breaking up. Pray for your mom, sweetie. I have to rush her again to the hospital. Why? What's happening to mom? He couldn't breathe and she's been throwing up since morning. I have to go. I will call you later, okay? Father God, please don't take my mom. We need her. Dad and I need her. Make me strong for my mom. Mom, where do you think you're going? I'm going to work. Where else? What? But mom. What's with that look? No. Dad, tell mom that she needs to rest. Don't worry, sweetheart. Your mom is strong and well. I don't want to lose you, mom. Oh, honey, I'm not going anywhere. To make you feel better, why don't you pray for me? Let's pray for mom, dad. Lord, I don't need to remind you of your promise. Because I know that you said in Numbers chapter 23 verse 19, that you are not a man, that you should lie. Nor a son of man, that you should repent. I'm begging you to please, spare my mom. I need her. Dad needs her. Father God, we're claiming 1 Peter 2.24, you became a curse and you were hung on a tree. By your stripes my wife is already healed. Thank you, Jesus that you already paid for my sins and you already took all our infirmities. I praise you for my complete healing. This we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. And Amen. Stephanie, darling, what are you doing here? 
Olive? What are you doing here? I work here as a medical assistant. How you've been? Oh, I brought my father-in-law here last night. He had another mild stroke and a massive headache. I'm so sorry to hear that. I will visit him in his room so I can pray for his healing. Oh, you don't have to do that, Olive. I hate to be a burden. Oh, don't worry about it, honey. It's all right. The Lord put me here for a reason. Oh, thank you for your kindness, Olive. I appreciate it. Stephanie, how's dad? I cancelled my meeting as soon as I heard that dad is here. The doctors said that he's stable now. But he needs to stay here for another night for observation. Hello there, Raphael. Don't worry about your father. He'll be okay. Olive, you work here. Yes, I've been working here for 16 years as a medical assistant. Don't worry. If you want to, we can all go to your father's room so I can pray for him. Sure. Thank you so much, Olive. How are you, Grandpa Joe? I feel better now, Olive. Oh, that's good to hear, Dad. Olive is here to pray for your healing. Thank you for your kindness, Olive. It's all right, Grandpa Jose. I want you to remember that there's nothing impossible with God. Just believe and receive your healing. I believe in God, Olive. He's been my strength and help for all these years. Amen. Also, Raphael and Stephanie, I know that you're also going through financial difficulties. Give your worries to God and he will take care of you. Let's pray. Lord God, we celebrate your goodness in our lives. We're here to thank you for Joe's healing. Thank you also because you will bless Raphael and Stephanie's business. We thank you in advance and we receive the answer to our prayers. Amen. It must be Olive and Amber. Go open the door, darling. Yes, Mom. Good evening, Stephanie. Hi, Aubrey. Good evening, Mrs. Stephanie. Hi, Aubrey. Oh, come inside. I'm sorry, my husband Daniel can't come. He has an emergency meeting at the hospital. If you don't mind me asking, what does he do for a living? He's working in the hospital in the EMT department. Oh, that's great. My husband is not here too. He's out of town for a business conference. I see. Aubrey, darling. Why don't you take Amber to our dining room? Make sure everything is ready for our dinner. Yes, Mom. Let's go, Amber. Okay. By the way, how's your father-in-law? Is he out of the hospital? That's the thing. The doctor says that he need to have angioplasty surgery right away. The problem is his insurance doesn't cover it. We have to come up with $28,000 plus the doctor's fee and lab tests. This is outrageous. Oh, no, I'm so sorry to hear that. Our business is slow and we might end up folding our car dealership business. My daughter Aubrey is so angry with her dad because he promised her that we are going to celebrate her 19th birthday in Hawaii next week. Oh, sweetie, you and your family will be fine. The Lord is your provider. Hold on to his promises in Philippians 4.19, but my God shall supply all our needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I know that it's tough right now, but don't lose hope. The Lord will provide for your family. What was that? Let's go and find out. Stop acting like you know everything about me. You don't know me, Amber. What's going on here? Are you two fighting? It's Amber's fault, Mom. Because of her, I dropped the plates and spilled the food. It's not my fault. You got mad at me because you know that I am right about everything. Oh, really smarty pants. How dare you tell me that I have to be considerate of my grandpa. You don't understand because you're not in my shoes. Of course, I love my grandpa and I worry about him. You know nothing about how we feel. All you know is to smile, joke around and have fun. Stop it, Stephanie. No, Mom, this brat needs to know. So, get off my back, Amber. 
Leave me alone, Amba. Sweetie, you were wrong about me, and my family, Aubrey. You might see me smiling and laughing all the time. But you don't have any idea what we're going through, huh? <laughs> yes, I'm happy outside but I'm crying inside. You see, my mom has a stage 2 cancer. You don't have any clue what I'm going through. Every day I'm scared of losing my mom. But I need to be strong for her. Our family are fighting together for mom. I'm just trying to make you understand that while you have a chance. Love your family and shower them with care. You may never know. I'm so sorry, Amber. Why you didn't tell me? I don't want to burden you. Olive, darling. I'm so sorry. I didn't know. You looked so happy and brave all the time. How did you do that? At first, I'm so scared. There's a lot of questions in my mind. But over time I've learned to focus on the good things that are happening in my life. The Lord taught me to be thankful for the life that he has given me. He showed me that there are many reasons why I need to be happy and thankful. Amber, I'm sorry, can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Of course, I forgive you, Aubrey. You're still my friend. Thank you, friend for giving me a second chance. <laughs> You're so silly. All right, girls. Let's clean up so we can eat. Our God works in a mysterious ways. I can't explain it but I experience the hands of God in my personal life. Like a tapestry, he created the intricate of me, my inner being to be connected to him. As for Raphael and Stephanie, the Lord turned things around for them. Some investors partnered with them and their profits triple in no time. Because of the success of their company, Raphael launched an internship program for the students and partnered with the school. Amber and Aubrey graduated from high school and they both moved to New York City to pursue their career in a prestigious art school. Meanwhile, Joe's angioplasty surgery was successful. An anonymous person paid for their hospital bill. Praise God! Me. Well, my oncologist was shocked when he couldn't find any trace of cancer in my body. He said it's a miracle. But we all know, that's it's all God. I've learned through this journey, that no matter what happen in our lives, we need to be thankful to God. And find something to smile about. Youth on the rock. Jesus is the rock. For young people and old alike, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel.